after the amendment, uh, again, we talked to the whole community, we talked to all the people that were involved, and we realized the impact it could have on, on, uh, uh, on children, on school, uh, on, uh, on young people here in Quebec, and that's why uh, the amendment, uh, we, we told CAC to go back to our uh, rationale and make sure that it was fixed. Uh, so I'm happy that the, the, they see this right now. There are other issues uh, with uh, Bill 96. What does that tell you about uh, the state of the French? The fact that it was too hard for Anglophone students at CGEP to follow those three core courses that would be mandatory if they wanted to be competitive enough to, co to go in university programs? Well, I think if you have to do something like this, one of the key learnings is you sit down with uh, the people from the school, you sit down with all uh, the, the people from the CGEP in order to talk about like, the level of French for all the students. But at the end of the day, you cannot do this in a bill like this one. What happened with Bill 96 is they passed a number of things that had nothing to do with the language, whether it's regarding judges, whether it's regarding the uh, DGEQ, they passed a number of, of items in the in this bill so what it tells me is that if you're doing a bill on language be careful what you do with what the, with the system with the educational system uh, casting this discussion uh, further <coughs> for the future uh, do you think what happened last night the fact that uh, Madame David's amendment was accepted uh, will this uh, help you rebuild some kind of a bridge with the, the minority community which has turned their back on you? Well, f so first of all, I think the, uh, the, the amendment is, is necessary given the fact that, uh, given the fact that people were going to be impacted, like school children, uh, CGEP students were going to be impacted by that. So I think it was, uh, it was necessary. I'm happy to see that the CAC realized, uh, realized that. That being said, there are a number of other issues that are not fixed right now in Bill, uh, in Bill 96, and the rights of the Anglophone community are also, a uh, right is a right. I mean, so we want to make sure that the, these rights are also protected. But you've been, trying, you've been trying for the last weeks to patch up this mistake. Do you think, do you think the, the, uh, the minority, do you think Anglophones and, uh, and, and other minority communities are now going to give you another chance? Or how is this well, going to think, play I you think, politically, Matt? Uh, I think, uh, again, we're talking a lot about the language, uh, the language item, and we're talking a lot about Bill 96. I think we've been clear that we're going to be, be voting against Bill 96, but I also think that there are many topics. As we come thanks to the election, there are going to be many topics, yes, about the rights of minorities, but also about health care, also about education, also about all kinds of other uh, items that we will, uh, we will be discussing. Do you think it's possible to have enough teachers in place to make this work for 2024 how is it how are they going to do this well that's it well, that's exactly why uh, that's exactly why we asked for uh, for an extension for this to be applied so what you, type of extension <coughs> on three years so which means that you would like this amendment to start in 2027 2026 it has to be again uh, it has to be discussed with the schools it has to be discussed with how it's applicable and it has to be agreed upon in order for this to work